Identity and Access Management, or IAM, in Google Cloud gives you fine-grained control over permissions, but it can be complex to manage. The IAM Policy Troubleshooter tool can help you investigate access issues, like why a user or service account has access to a resource or doesn't have permission to call an API. Let's walk through how to use the Policy Troubleshooter. We can access the Policy Troubleshooter using the Google Cloud Console, the command line interface, or the REST API. For simple queries, using the Google Cloud Console is easy and includes a visual aid. For more complex scenarios, consider the command line or REST API. In this video, we'll focus on using the Policy Troubleshooter through the Cloud Console. First off, we'll need three parameters to use the troubleshooter. A principal, a resource, and a permission. The principal field is where we can enter the email address of the principal whose access we want to troubleshoot. This email address can refer to a user or a service account. Let's use a user account with the email user at tsc.junix.net. The resource field is the full name of the resource that we want to check access against. The path of the full name varies depending on the resource type. For example, the path for our project is cloudresourcemanager.googleapis.com slash projects and then the project ID. To see what format to use for full resource names, check the documentation. The permission field is the permission that we want to check for. Similar to the resource field, a list of permissions will be presented as we start to type. Let's use resourcemanager.projects.get, which grants access for a principal to receive a project. For a complete list of permissions, check the permissions reference documentation. The permission that you need to access a resource might be displayed as part of a permission denied error. In addition, you can always refer to the specific product documentation page for a list of roles and permissions that are required to access a product's resources. If you want to check additional permissions for the same principle, you can add multiple resource permission pairs. Let's continue by checking the access to this project. The top of the page confirms the evaluation information we're looking for. It's important to note that the Policy Troubleshooter only shows policies that grant access and that you have permission to view. Other policies might affect this principle, such as deny policies or policies that you don't have permission to view. For more information, reach out to your organization administrator. In this case, the Policy Troubleshooter shows that this user should have access. The Resources section shows the relevant resources and the Role Binding section shows the roles that contain the permission. You can also choose to show all bindings, including those that don't include the permission. This user has several roles that grant the projects.get permission. We can also see more details about the binding, which shows more information about the role, permission, and principal. This binding shows that the role contains the projects.get permission and that our principal has been granted the role, giving them access. If we look at another role, we can see that this role contains the evaluated permission, but the principal does not have this role. You can read more about the Policy Troubleshooter in the documentation and try it out for yourself in the Google Cloud Console.